Today's celebration is the living embodiment of Mr. T's words as each of you acknowledge your place in the long march of history that shaped Polytechnic High School. Today we're celebrating 100 years since the first group of students, 11 of them, graduated from the Polytechnic Public School. But the story of how the school came to be here starts long before then. It's not too hard if you close your eyes and use a little imagination to picture this hill in Sycamore Creek behind us a little more than 175 years ago, before the first Anglo settlers moved into this area after Texas became an independent republic the valley, like the one along Caddo Creek east of us, was once lined with the shelters and the gardens and the livestock of the Wichita and the Caddo tribes that had been here for generations. During the painful clash of cultures that repeated itself across the American West, the native tribes were pushed westward, fighting every step of the way. Soldiers and militiamen of the Republic of Texas cleared the village, the villages along Caddo Creek, also called Village Creek, in 1841. And an 1843 treaty at Birds Fort between many of the area's tribes and the Republic set a line designed to protect both the Native Americans and the incoming settlers. Those protections inevitably fell a little short on the tribe side, and the area continued to settle up as the Republic offered incentives to attract newcomers. Land was given to impresario groups, such as the Peters Colony, and awarded to heroes of Texas, such as Tejano leader Jose Maria Vasquez, and Robert Ramey, one of those who died at the Goliad Massacre in 1836. But even while families moved into the area, the natives pushed back, led by the remarkable military prowess of the Comanche and the Kiowa, whose leaders kept the area in so much turmoil that Texas saw annexation of the United States and the protection of the Army as a prime solution. It wasn't until 1849 that the Army, under the direction of, in Texas of Major General William Jenkins Worth, planned to establish a fort in the upper regions of the Trinity. When General Worth died in May of 1849, a new outpost was named in his honor. With the protection of the fort, the area began to fill with families. Among those settling in the area around us here were Peter's colonist Sam Loving, who established a farm along Sycamore Creek, now near today's Berry Street. And arriving in 1852 from Kentucky were Roger Tandy and his in-laws W.D. and Arch Paul 